Let's see how to start a new job in Strubim Sipe 3D. When we open the program, a window with four sections appears. File, Recent Files, Help and BIM Server Center. In File we have the following options. New for creating a new job, File Manager for entering the file path of an existing project and examples for installing and opening any of the example jobs that are included by default in the program. The Recent File section of the pop-up window displays a list of file paths for recently opened jobs that we can access directly in just a click. From Help we can access informative documents and links, such as the User Manual or Calculations Manual, and from About we can consult the Program Version and License Number. Furthermore, both the file and help options are always accessible in the menu bar of the interface. To the right of the pop-up window, in the BIM Server Center section, we enter the email address and password for our account and press the button below to connect to it. To do this, the account must have been previously registered on the platform's website via the Register Here button. We are now going to create a new job. To do this, we click on New and type in the file name which has an ED3 extension. We click on Browse if we wish to modify the file path where the job will be saved. A backup copy with ED$ extension will automatically be saved in the same file path. Then we write the description of the job below and we click Accept. Next, the new job window appears and offers us two options. If we select the first one, Empty Project, we will create a project from scratch entering all the data for the model. If we mark the second one, Automatic Introduction IFC, we import the information from IFC files that include the definition of the analytical model from which the links between bars and their layout scheme are obtained. In our case, we're going to create an empty project, so we mark the option and click Accept. Then, the General Data Definition window appears, which includes the codes, materials, loads, and other analysis options. We can configure the information that we have at this time, and leave the unknown data for later. Lastly, we click Finish. If we have not done so, we must validate the information for the limit states by accepting the window that appears. This allows us to access the general Strubim Sipe 3D interface and start developing the job.